going to give you a brief uh, description of the ingredients of to make my take on beef curry. So here we have some some curry powder, some masala, some black pepper, and some jeera. We're going to use a whole onion, uh, some bandana, and this is optional for you guys if you want it. It's uh, some thyme, and then I have frozen uh, garlic and pepper already ground up and frozen. It's an uh, easy take for me uh, during the week to make it. If you like the fresh garlic and pepper ground up with your seasoning, go ahead and do so. But I'm going to go ahead and blend all of this stuff together to make the seasoning. I forgot to mention part of the seasoning that I will also be putting into this curry, which is fresh scallion from my garden. All of this herbs came from my garden. So here we have a little bit of uh, basil, some flat leaf parsley, uh, some sage, and some shallots. So we'll only be taking like a little handful of each. As the shallots we will use all towards the end of the cooking process. So here's our fresh beef that we just picked up from the market. And this is about a good uh, eight pounds of meat. So let's get to it. This is already washed. I'm gonna just uh, rinse it again for its freshness. And then I'm gonna show you the cooking process. Okay, so my pot is heated up. So I'm gonna go in with my onions and seasoning. So you're gonna go ahead and let your seasoning saute for about five minutes. You want the onions to break down really well and the seasoning to, to really cook uh, for a few minutes. After this, after five minutes, you're gonna go ahead and put in uh, about a teaspoon of garlic and the rest will be in your mixture. The rest of the garlic mixture, I should say, should be in your, in your seasoning with your masala and jeera and curry powder. After your five minutes, you want to go in with a few pieces of your garlic. Let that saute up for a good three minutes or two minutes actually. Okay, so now that your all of your garlic, onion, and seasoning has been sauteing for a good five minutes, you want to go in with your masala. Okay, after your garlic, onion, and seasoning has been cooking up for a good five minutes, you want to go in with your masala and curry powder mixture and let this fry up with a good fry uh, for a good five minutes uh, and you really want it to cook. You don't want any kind of raw taste to your masala or curry powder. Okay, and this is what you're looking for. You want it to be having, you want it to catch at the bottom per se uh, so you know it's frying really well. So once this starts separating um, together, all together, you'll know that your masala mixture has been cooked properly. Okay, so now that our mixture has been cooked very, very well here, uh, we're gonna go in with our beef mixture and put it in. Our beef meat, I should say. Okay, give that a quick toss up. You're gonna add your salt and uh, just give it a good toss, all right? So now that all of the water from the from the beef had dried down, you're left with a dried um, back to the oil and back to the masala. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and put in my oops, put in my water, hot water at that, and I'm going to go ahead and put in my potatoes. Potatoes are optional. You don't have to necessarily put in your potato if you don't want potato in it, but I'm going to go ahead and put potato in it. So I'm going to give this a good stir and then I'll show you a picture after. So here's a view of, uh, of the beef cooking and now I have this on a very low to medium low heat because it's a fresh meat and I don't steam my meat before cooking. Uh, you want this meat to simmer really low so it could, have, so it could cook really really good and be very tender to the bite. So, this is only a quarter way. I'll get back to you when it's halfway done. So now that you have put in your water and your potato, I noticed there was a lot of extra oil that was released from the fresh meat, so I drained it all out. Yucky. But we're gonna let this simmer for a good half hour to, uh, to maybe 40 minutes. I don't think it's gonna need the full 40 minutes, but let's take it for 30, 35 minutes. Uh, stir occasionally, not too much, cause you want the meat to cook and don't disturb it, the cooking process. So medium heat, medium low heat, this is fine for another 30, 35 minutes. So here we have it, our final product of the beef curry. 
It smells great. It looks great. The meat is very tender. Sorry, I will not be doing a taste test for you this time, but it, I did cook it for someone else today. So, it does look amazing.